This is one of the main reasons why I love Jenna Ortega because anytime when she speaks on facts about the industry as to why she didn't want to work with Disney and certain things that goes on in Hollywood and why we really don't like, you know, a lot of stuff that should not be put in reboots. But I would say this, if you're gonna do a gender swap reboot or something like that for a TV show or a video game, at least do it to the point where it makes sense for the old character to have children that are daughters to become just like them in terms of like superhero wise and all of that. Do it to the point where it makes sense. Don't do it to the point where it becomes forced and is being done for a dumb reason so it says jenna ortega explained why she isn't a fan of gender swap reboots which tech i mean which track excuse me so yeah let's hop into this article let's talk about it there have been a few reboots of franchises with old female leads such as 2016's ghostbusters and 2018's oceans 8. the very existence is controversial from concerns over the lack of development typical given to create a female roles to bad faith and hostile backlash and i kind of agree with this point because the 2016 ghostbusters reboot was so bad it became unwatchable i seen a little bit of it a long time ago and i regret watching it because it was just trash because you could tell feminists was all over this project and that's how you know there were red flags all over it i mean i have nothing against all female leads but if it's done right like i said in the beginning of the video then yes i went my watching it i went my giving my you know overall positive thoughts on it but but the thing i don't like about what hollywood is doing is they always find ways to add the little agenda into projects that is not needed and that's where it becomes a huge problem in the entertainment industry look at how the Akalak show turned out that was one of the worst things i've ever saw i saw the first episode and i was completely turned off about it because everything just screamed agenda i don't want to say the w word because you know what's going to come out of my mouth but at the end of the day the show got canceled and you see these projects got no sequels because of what Hollywood has done. In an interview with MTV, Jenna Ortega was asked how she would respond if Tim Burton called her with the idea for either project, despite him previously saying he would leave it alone. In response, Jenna said, I love that there's a lot more female leads nowadays. I think that's so special, but we should have our own. And that right there is what I agree with the most because you don't always have to have a female lead in certain franchises that basically a lot of us grew up with as children to the point where it becomes ruined and forgettable and forgettable. So... Yes, this part I also agree with it as well. I don't like it when it's like a spinoff. It should continue. I don't want to see like Jamie Bond. You know, I want to see other that definitely leave it. So basically what she's saying that she doesn't want to like, you know, see forceful agenda being put in female leads like how it is nowadays she just want to see a franchise done right if you have a female actress that can lead the franchise but without adding their own political agendas in films and television so that's basically what she's saying here okay so the thing i learned about this article is that jenna she has a right to her opinion just like everybody else you can't force people to just like what you like if you love political things and movies and tv shows being forcefully added in it to the point where everybody is not going to want to watch 
any new project from Disney, Nickelodeon, or any other crap that they do in, in the industry because look at how the acolytes turn out. And don't get me started on that. So, shout out to Jenny Ortega for actually just speaking nothing but facts here. She wants to see a female lead in a franchise done right, not forceful. I mean, not forceful, excuse me. So, yeah, link to the article will be down below.